Thank you very much. Um, I, uh, number one, I would thank my good friend from Georgia for his remarks. And um, look, I know the aim is to achieve a result, but I think everybody here knows we're not going to get a result. I mean, this body acting by itself does not have the ability to pass a law. Now, we can make a point, and if that's the exercise here, we can have a vote and make a point. But uh, let's not be under the illusion that something that hasn't been agreed to by the Senate and has not been agreed to by the administration is going to become law, because it's not. So if the aim is to, uh, to get something done as opposed to posture politically, then I think my friend Mr. Woodall makes an excellent selection. Let's slow down the process. Let's sit here and work. And uh, if it takes extra time, let's get that done. Thank you. That would be my suggestion. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Scanlon. Yeah, I just find myself a little bit frustrated. Maybe it's because I'm new to the Hill, but this idea that we can't move without the Senate when the Senate isn't doing anything. You know, our constituents are relying upon us to take action. There's been thoughtful consideration of bills that are going to help our constituents, and the Senate can step up and meet us on it. It can propose alternatives. This does not have to be the last word, but we've got to do something because people are counting on us. With that, I yield back. 